Hey guys, it's Yvette and I am here with my new Creative Notions bag. Sorry, took that from the cat lady. Uh, anyway, so I've got this John bag of Cheetos while I'm waiting for pizza. Nice healthy meal. Um, and here it is. It's super thick. And I may or may not have some guests that you will not see. But one's over there, one's over there. <laughs> Just put your guesses down below in the comment section. <laughs> All right. I don't want to use my good skizzers, so I'm going to just pop this baby open by hanging. Oh my goodness, it's not a, a bag with dots on it. It is a very spring-like. Okay, here it is. That's cute. Isn't it cute? That's it's, really cute. It's kind of cute. All right, so let's get it open. That looks like it could go with spring brook, kind of. Well, I don't know if I'd go that far. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, good. Oh, the patterns are on the outside. I thought it was like the little, this is what's in the bag on the outside, but it's not. Okay. So here's the, it's like a project bag that we've gotten with the stuff inside. Um, and it's a side zip. You have a side zip and then a handle here. That's cute. Okay. I'm gonna put the project bag on the floor. <laughs> I don't know if you noticed, but I'm not at all. <laughs> okay. So, here we go. Telling us what's inside. The February 2021 subscription, Gnome is Where Your Garden Grows by Shelly Kaminsky for Henry Glass. And this is a spring box. Oh, bag. I do like gnomes. Those are cute. Um, okay. She's telling us the items in the bag, which I'm not going to look at. She's talking about some Creative Notions rulers. Oh, cool. So the February winners are, um, the block winner is Angela Stutinger. Hi, Angela. I know Angela. Woo uh, project winner is Shannon Rhodes. Ooh, go and Shannon. Go Shannon. <laughs> and the fabric winner is Carol Shook. Congratulations to all the ladies. Hi, Carol. Um, okay, so there is a block contest. Send in your own designed block for a chance to win a pre-cut each month. Send a picture of your block, instructions, and pictures to, I don't know, she's got the pictures in there twice. It just confused me for a second. Here we go. Uh, send it to info at creativenotionsquiltshop.com and put block contest in the subject bar. When this year is through, we will make a book with all of your blocks and the instructions in it, much like the recipe book. Okay. Holy cow, there's so much stuff in here. Name your gnome contest. Take a picture of your finished gnomes and post it on our Facebook group for a chance to win. We're making gnomes? <laughs> okay. Um, subscribers get 15% off their entire purchase. Um, special thanks to Becky Thompson at Power Tools with Thread for her proofreading skills. I didn't know you was looking for somebody with proofreading skills. Anyway, thanks Becky for proofreading. That's great. Um, there was a Facebook reminder about posting pictures and that you're supposed to post a spoiler alert. Post spoiler alerts, people. Okay, I'm not gonna look at anything else yet. Let's look at the stuff. Okay, here we go. We have a subscribers block of the month competition. Pinwheel Coll Cottage by Angela Stutinger. It The unfinished size is 12 and a half inches by 14 and a half inches. Okay, this must be the, is this the thing that was in the tonight'sy little print that I couldn't read last month? I don't know, it, it might be. Um, so that's what they're saying that Angela won, is that this is her block that she designed. 
That's very cute. I like it. Nice job. And uh, so I'm assuming that because we're seeing it here, that it's going to be in the book at the end of the year. So amaze balls. That's great, Angela. Congrats. And it's a lovely block. Um, okay. So, oh my goodness, I never know where to start. We're going to do the fabric last. Although there is a Twizzler. <laughs> um, all right. So we're going to wait on that. Let's do the patterns first. There is a gnome cottage quilt idea. Okay. Oh, it features the block of the month by Angela. Wait, she's doing oh, a block of the month? I, I don't know what this is. It's, I think, see, they're having this contest. Last month, there was a section of the little booklet that was in size two font. I couldn't see it. I mean, I honestly, I didn't know what it said. And I didn't go back. That must be what this block contest is. And they probably described exactly what was in it. So I'll figure all that out. And I will tell you all about it. Okay. Um, but apparently, they, they are asking uh, us to design blocks. And send it to them with the instructions and everything. And if you were a winner, you're pattern will be in a book at the end of the year and I mean I don't know if this is going to happen every time but they're basically using oh, her block I in see. the quilt that they're sending that's oh. it so they're taking that block and putting it and in putting it in yeah and I mean I don't know if Angela did this or if they did it I don't I really don't know but that is that's pretty amazeballs I mean that's that's nice. It says featuring block of the month by Angela Stutinger and gnome is where your garden grows fabric by Shelly Comiskey for Henry Glass Fabrics. So block of the month in this case, it sounds like it's more a contest to design blocks to be featured, not a so long necessarily. Although That's what it looks do, like. I mean, you could always do one every month and have it set aside. That's cool. Yeah. Okay, and then we have this gnome picnic quilt, which is cute. Yeah, very cute. Very cute. Very nice. That'd be good for fussy cutting. Yeah, I like that a lot. So there it is, and finish size is 47 by 47. It's a picnic quilt, so that you can, um, you know, take it with you for picnics once we have a nice spring weather. And this is the cover, and then you have a nice big pattern inside. Um, in eight and a half by 11. Nice. Which is nice, yeah. Um, okay, so that's that. I, that. I'm so super excited about this, and I love that quilt that they made with Angela's block. That's amazing too. Um, okay, so I think this thing right here must have something to do with it looks like there's socks in here. Hold up. It is a gnome DIY kit. Oh, make your own socks. Well, the socks come oh. with, and you make the socks into a gnome. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> I, listen, I actually think that's pretty freaking awesome. Uh, okay, so let's see. Let's check out my socks. <laughs> Okay, so basically, it looks like Vicky went through her wash, and all the socks that came out without a pair got put in here. Because I got one sock like this. <laughs> Very cute. Not used. <laughs> Hopefully not used. Look at this sock. This sock right here is, like, pretty soft. Ah. And very springy. Yeah. Very springy. That would make a good craft project. Still got the itchy nose, guys. Sorry about that. Oh, this is a whole pair of socks. Okay, we, <laughs> we got a whole pair of socks. If you can restrain yourself and put them on your feet, you can use them to make a gnome. Nice white pair. I'm trying to not laugh. We got one fuzzy sock in orange. We got one fuzzy sock in purple. I think you should just wear the fuzzy socks. <laughs> one orange, one purple. I think that's actually pretty cool too. <laughs> Until you have time to make a gnome. Yeah.
haven't had wine yet, guys, I swear. <laughs> okay, so this, oh my goodness, I, y'all. I, I feel like that could be the project I, for the bag in itself. <laughs> yeah, I'm just, you guys, seriously. There are some templates. Nice. Templates for the beard and the plates. And then the instructions Ooh. are like this giant full color That's really photo. Easy to read. Yes, much easier than the insert we had last week or last month. Where it was size too long, I couldn't read it. Um, okay, there's still more stuff in here, guys. I'm still going. We have some floss, which you will need. Hmm. Uh, this says, quilting makes me happy. Aww. And then there's another one back there with like some spools of thread and stuff like that. I don't know what it says. Hold up. Let's see what it says. Because it does say something. Oh, it says create every day. That's cute. Oh, I like the spools of thread on there. It's pretty colorful. Yeah, the colors are cute, right? Okay. There's two different colors of floss. I just want to say that. And I'm not sure if there's a needle in there. I'll, I will go over the list before we're done. Let's just check everything out. And then we got some furry beard <laughs> stuff. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Oh, oh, oh. Doesn't take much with some people. Uh -huh. I'm easily amused. It's She's, fine. I'm full of goo. <laughs> My beard is shedding. Okay. We got a Twizzler. You know what? I need sustenance. We have a two and a half inch square up ruler. It says creative notions on it. That looks very familiar. Yeah, but this one has creative notions on it, so mine's better. <laughs> what do you say? Is that Lori Holtz? But that one, the edge around the outside uh -huh. is clear, so you can see the quarter inch. This one oh. is And you know what? Not a criticism to Lori Holt. I love her. I, I really do. I like that. But the cute cuts mm -hmm. rulers, they... Like, I what I feel like um, that thing that they put around the edge mm -hmm. really should be quarter inch, and it's not. It's not. Right. It's not. And so, like, if you really, if you off. think it is, yeah, it totally does. So. I like that design better. Yeah, this one's nice. So, I don't, let me see. There is one, there's something in here that's plain background. Here we go. There you go. So now you can see it. It's got her little camper on there. It says Creative Notions. What does that say? It says two and a half inch square up ruler right there. This is this is really cute. That's a good ruler. I really like that. And um, it's clear. It's not that green. I know. I know. See, I don't like that green. Mm -hmm. I know some people like they like it because they need that, and it actually does help them. For me, it makes it worse. I don't. Yeah. yeah. I, so I think it's you know some people like it and some people don't, and that's cool. Okay. Um, here is the fabric, and. I, I think I like it. Um, first of all, I love gnomes. <laughs> this is, let's just, you know, I mean, hello. <laughs> That's super cute, but let's check it out. Okay. By the way, Vicki, I like how you're wrapping up all your fabric lately. I really do. Um, ooh, you get a whole bunch of that. Okay, so I think these we have a fat quarter of. So here's the first one. Very cute. Nice. I actually do think it's cute. And this is gnome is where your garden grows. Is that what it was? Oh, it got cut. I think that's what it's. I think that's what she said though. Um, that's very cute. Mm -hmm. And then here's the next one. Not a huge fan of red, but since they got all them little gnomes in there, I'm excited. Mm -hmm. Little gnomes. And there's some uh, little ladybugs. They got a beard like you. <laughs> and that just happens when you get older here's a blue one oh 
Ladybug. with some ladybugs. ladybugs and bees. It looks like it. I know it's a leaf, but if you look from afar, doesn't it kind of look like he's on a pea pod? Yeah. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Pea, pea pod. Oh, this one's cute. Okay, I'm gonna have to <laughs> open it up a little bit better. Y'all, look the gnomes. Oh, that's you. The gnomes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Those snails. <laughs> I love the little gnomes. Oh, and he is on a snail. I didn't see that. Oh, uh, the snail's cross-eyed. <laughs> look at his eyes. <laughs> He is. <laughs> He's cross-eyed. It's so cute. He's probably very sensitive to that. Well, probably. probably. Or he's thinking, oof, get off me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, heavy. And then we have this guy, and he's yellow. Right? Oh. The other one was what, blue? Blue. Yep. Very nice. There's a blue one. There's a yellow one. Do you like the yellow or the blue better? I like the blue better. I like the blue better. What about you? I like the blue. I knew you were going to say but that. But I like blue. So. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and then we have like a whole bunch of this one, which is the main, and it is super cute. That's a lot of gnomes. It's a lot of gnomes. That's a lot of gnomes. Yep. With the cross-eyed snail, too. <laughs> is he on here? I'm like looking. <laughs> he is on this side. He is, yes. Oh, I see him. <laughs> see, I have to look at him upside down. Oh, pizza's here. Um... Okay, so. Is it the front door? Mm -hmm. Oh, geez. It's got like 100 locks on it. Well, there's only three. Oh. <laughs> I'm going by what someone else said. <laughs> okay, so, guys, that's everything that's in the box. And, you know, I've got to hurry up and wrap this up because apparently it's pizza time. And I don't want them getting all the pizza. Um, so. Inside the bag, you got five fat quarters, one yard of border print. There's a, there's a lock. One and a quarter background fabric. Okay. One, oh, I forgot to show y'all the background fabric. I was like, I didn't see that. It's because it's right here. This is our background fabric. It is white with a multicolored dots on it. Very cute. Okay, so five fat quarters, one yard of border print, one and a quarter. I think it's supposed to say, never mind. I'm not even going to say it. Everyone gets mad at me whenever I correct stuff, but it does say one and a quarter inches of background fabric. I seriously don't think we're only getting one and a quarter inches. Just saying. Uh, there is a gnome kit that will make two gnomes. I'm, I'm so excited about the gnomes. Um... There is a gnome quilt pattern. There is a two and a half inch square up ruler and ruler bag. There's a ruler bag? What? Are you the project bag? Oh! It could be that it's this. You're right. I, I mean, I don't know, um, but that's probably it. There is a block of the month pattern and the bag value is $85. There is still fur flying around. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to go and have some pizza and defur. And you guys, please leave your comments down below. I'd love to know what you think about the bag. If you have received the bag, do you love it? And some of you probably already have a couple gnomes. So come on over to Jelly Beanies and show me your gnomes. I want to see them. I'll see you with the next bag. Thanks so much for watching. I love each and every one of you. Mwah. Bye. Bye. <laughs>